Now, it's time now to sort out some medical fact from fiction with Dr. Chris. Chris, lovely to see you. A lot Morning. nicer circumstances, obviously, on Friday. Yeah, sure. Um, but just want to say what a fitting tribute Friday. I know we've not mentioned it, but yeah. it was what an amazing brilliant show. brilliant programme. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, much great feedback. So and yeah. Our tribute to our lovely Denise, mm. wasn't yeah. it? And it was amazing. Could do for her. Yeah. So, sticking with the health headlines, there's a lot of things that have been coming out lately that's confusing me. <laughs> the first one, HRT. Now, Chris, I always thought, hey, hey, uh, was the uh, not me. A certain age. Yeah. Yeah. But apparently, that could sort me out. Yeah, I mean, HRT for men has actually been around for quite a long time, and we've done some features on the show about it. Uh, the news at the, at the moment is that they found that um, testosterone treatment, OK, for the men, actually reduced the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Now, this is interesting because before they said that HRT for men may increase that risk. But this study, they took 755 men with heart problems. So they may have had angina or whatever, aged between 58 and 78. And those with low levels of testosterone, they were androgen deficient, mm. they gave testosterone to. And they gave it to them as either injections or a gel to rub into the skin. And what was interesting, they found that those who had low testosterone and given the treatment were 80% less likely to suffer heart attacks and cardiovascular disease. 80%? Yeah, 80% less likely right. to suffer heart that's, attacks. That's and really right. high result. Yeah, yeah, it is. And, and they followed these guys up. And, and one year on, those who were not on testosterone, there were 64 major cardiovascular events, whatever they were, right? Mm. 64. Those on testosterone, only 12. And those on high levels of testosterone, only nine. So there's a, a significant difference between mm. these two groups. So the message would be, you know, according to their figures, if you're a guy who was age 58 plus and you've got a heart problem, maybe go to your GP, uh, have That's your it. testosterone measured. If it's lower than normal, than average, then you know maybe you should be on testosterone. But that's up to the GP or even an endocrinologist, a hormone specialist, to make that decision. Well, I think a lot of a lot of viewers would be happy yeah. to know I'll that. Tell you what, what's interesting with guys who have had testosterone, anyhow, uh, because of th their age, they're feeling low in mood and, and loss of libido and tiredness, etc. Those given testosterone, you know, it, it changed their lives. And they said that it, 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 it makes a change in the bedroom, but also the boardroom <laughs> is aggressive. <laughs> Stop it, Chris. Like HRT no, for uh, women, you know, you said it, it can change so many things, not just hot flushes, but your mood swings, mm. yeah. your sexual libido, and yeah. yeah. So what about us men? Yeah, come yeah. on, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, 